name's Ezo, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Northern Virginia. Today I'm going to show you how you can connect to your Amazon EC2 instance from the internet. Let's get started. After logging in to your AWS management console, navigate to the VPC console. Select the security group from the navigation pane. I've already created the security group but please be sure that the security group associated with your Elastic Network interface of the instance allows the connection from the required ports. For Linux, it's port 22, and for Windows, it's RDP port 3389. In a production environment, enable only a specific IP address or a range of IPs to access your instance. For testing purposes, I'm adding ingress rules with a custom IP of 0.0.0.0 slash .0, .0, 0 to enable all IP addresses to access my instance using SSH. Please note you don't need to configure any security group egress rules because security groups are stateful. Next, let's check the network ACLs. Please note that network ACLs are stateless. You must be sure that the rules are created in both directions, so traffic is permitted. Both inbound rule and outbound rule would need to allow the communication. For inbound rule, you would need to allow port 22. And for egress or outbound rule, you would need to allow all the ephemeral ports. But for this example, I'm allowing any. Also, we need to ensure that an internet gateway is created and associated with the VPC before checking the route table. Next, we will need to check the routing table. Check your VPC route tables for a default route out pointing to the internet gateway. For my example, I don't have any default route, so I would need to add one. If the route doesn't exist, add a route with the internet gateway as a target and 0.0.0.0 slash .0, .0, 0 as the destination. If there is no internet gateway, then create one and attach it to your VPC. To test connectivity, I will go ahead and launch an instance. I will go ahead and leave everything as default. Ensure that the instance has a public IP address assigned to it. And it's in the correct subnet. And for the security group, we'll go ahead and assign the security group that we've created. And make sure that you have access to the key. Please ensure that the instance passes both status checks before SSHing. Now we're SSH then. Finally, be sure that the OS level software or firewall on the instance allows the traffic through the required ports. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS. Okay.